Yo, what's good guys? This is Flex on the track from Drum Knockers and today I'm gonna show you how to make these aggressive young boy melodies. Before we start off this tutorial, I have a little announcement to make. Well, Steer and I got a beat place with Ferrari True and this is a little snippet of it. If y'all want me to break down that melody, let me know in the comments and without further ado, this is what the melody sounds like. So I started off with this piano and this is a MIDI that Vicky Ferry sent me and I just added a top melody and I'll break it down for you guys. Um, this loop is in B minor if you don't know how to see the scales you go to view, then scale highlighting them right click B, right click minor natural because that's the scale we're in and yeah this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna try and break down this little MIDI he sent me. Um, this loop is in B minor, so the first chord is a B minor triad, and then an E minor, and then there is a suspended two in here, I think. And then between those chords, there are transition notes, and the key to this to this melody is actually the bounce in the chords, as you can hear. And what also keeps the bounce going is the bass line so a little tip for you guys is when you make this melody start with the bass line with, and then build the chords on it if you don't know how to make like a B minor try just take a B then skip a white note white sheet note and then skip another one and then you have your minor try it then I freestyle this top melody and it's really just a blue scale with some rolls in here and I'll, I'll let you hear it again So if you guys don't know what the blue scale is, it starts on the B, in this case we are in B minor, so B, then you go to D, this is the, the flat fifth, this is the, the jazz note, so that's the scale you want to improvise with and you can do like, a, like some, some simple like, something really simple like that, just play with these notes and you'll get like a, a real jazzy melody. For any of you guys wondering, this is the Grandeur piano with the tone set to hard and then for the mixing, I have a parametric EQ on it which cuts off the lows, a Valhalla vintage verb with the mixing knob over here on like 6%, RC20 with air on distortion mode and then put the width a little bit up and then a fruity delay. After that I took Lounge Lizard, this is like an electric piano and I took the 20 B Fly 2 uh, preset in a time based one and these are the chords I played. So basically it's just a B minor and an E minor triad that's playing all, all over again and then at the end like a little rundown back to the, um, the B minor. Then for the effects, I took a Valhalla Vintage Verb, a Fruity Love Filter with the default preset, Valhalla Delay, Pancake to make it go a little bit from left to right with the mixing up on 32 and then a Parametric EQ to even put it more in the back. Then I took this basic gospel um, organ with the preset on 12 and then I played this melody. So basically it's just a B minor triad but inverted. So if you can see if I put these up, it's like a B minor triad but I took these down. 
and then I did like a Zaytoven roll up to the chord to make it sound cooler. And then uh, over here, I just um, made it like a real, like with an octave on, underneath it. And then I did this little melody. Again in the blue scale, and that's literally how to get those sounds. For the effects, I took a parametric EQ to cut off a lot of lows and dip a little bit of the harsh highs. A vintage verb, RC20 again, with the distortion mode on air and all that. And then a little love filler to make it sound a little bit more in the back. And yeah, that's basically it for the organ. After that, I took this pizza cavo um, one shot from JB Saw Stop uh, kit. It's only like 10 bucks. I think it's called the Futuristic Kit, and this is what it sounds like. And that really repeats, so it's just a melody between the B and the E, and then um, a little variation at the end to make it not that boring. And just to put like a lot, a lot of tension in the melody, so yeah, that's why I put it in there. For the effects, I put a Paramagic EQ on it, Vintage Verb, and that's basically it. Then I took the Scarby Rickenbacker bass with the Night Session preset, and then uh, I played this little melody in it, and I played it on my keyboard to make it sound like, so I could have a feel from what I was playing, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, this is just a B and the an E, and then a little rundown in the scale back to the B. Then a the blue scale again, just to make like a little lick over here back, um, that results back to the B, and the same over here. For the effects of the bass, I literally played like played with the EQ over here and put the highs a little bit up so you can hear it a little more in the melody, and I put it in mono as you can see. Then I took the sizzle bell and I played the envelope. I put the envelope like this. Just take the attack down, hold up, decay. So every time I play it and I, I release it, it um, you can choose how long it would play. So yeah, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, nothing too special. And for the mixing, I took a parametric EQ, Valhalla Vintage Verb and a Fruity Love Filler. So I took this Baton Low Wah. And if you don't know what scale this one is, like what the key is in, just right click, edit in audio editor, go to this mark over here, detect pitch regions, and now you see that the one shot is in D. So what you do is you go to here, this knob, and then right click on the D. So now every time you play something on, on this keyboard, like on the piano roll, the note will be in key. Then I took this wah step, and it's literally like the NBA Youngboy sound. Everyone knows this and I just put like a play with the timing and the multi multiplicator and then I put it on the low B so it will now sound like this And for the effects I have an EQ on it a vintage verb and a love filter Then I took a wah distortion. It sounds like this I play with the timing and I put it on cut itself. So this is the pattern I made it really gives that baton rouge sound and yeah that's why i put it in there for the mixing i just did a parametric eq and a vintage verb then i have this hitman shoddy red wave uh, one shot also in the jb1 uh, one shot kit of the baton rouge and then i pitched it in key and then that's i put it at the end of the loop so this was like a simple tutorial for you guys i hope you learned from it as always and if you have some questions or suggestions feel free to dm me on instagram or put it in the comments if you want to interact a little bit more with our community we got a dk discord so feel free to join and also if you want to get lessons from us join our patreon it's only 10 bucks a month so you don't want to miss it out this was it for me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace